Hi everyone, Brian Grieve here, Director of Education uh, for Z1 Concept North America. Welcome to our head offices and our fabulous studio here in Fairfield, New Jersey. Now, I get lots of questions about what's your favorite formula for rose gold? Well, there's so many different options. So I'd love to share uh, something with you. You can see a little sneak peek going on here, a little part of the finished color. But I would like to explain what's happened to get to this point. And then I'm going to share the little diamond that we add to this color at the very end. So prepped uh, it with the color, this was a probably a level seven mannequin and I used our Illuminate Conditioning Lightning Oil, which is ammonia free with uh, 30 volume to give us up to three levels of lift, which gave us a very golden blonde, a little warm blonde, which was perfect. On top of that, we used uh, Milkshake Creative Permanent Color and you can see some of the result here. Uh, using a 7.313, which is a gold ash gold, with a 986, which is a level nine, believe it or not, a brown pink, which gave it, gives us a fabulous uh, rose gold with a small uh, five grams of red concentrate. And that gives us the base color, but we have another fabulous line called Direct Color, which uh, comes straight out of the bottle. Some of you may be familiar with it, uh, this is conditioning, it has lots of fruit extracts, smells amazing and goes directly onto the hair. It's a temporary color, will last four to six washes. But we have another little magic formula. We make up what's called a color cocktail which creates a pastel finish on the hair. So even if it's on really light blonde hair, this would last for two to three washes only. So you can go in on a Friday and have it out by a Monday if you need to go back to work or you work in a bank, you can, you're not allowed to have that funky color in your hair it will come out that quickly. So we use our very famous whipped cream leave-in conditioner, which is a, has been a mainstay for the company for many, many years. You watch this, as this comes out, we apply that into the bowl, it actually comes out like whipped cream and ah, smells amazing. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I would put approximately 10 grams of the pink direct color. And watch this, what we do, we apply that in, Looks like an ice cream sundae. Put a little more in, there you go, for all you pink lovers out there. Now, I don't really just want the straightforward pink. We really wanna work into something that we call an antique pink. So would you wanna know how do we achieve that? Let me tell you, let me share this little um, milkshake secret with you. We take some brown, and I know you're gonna be saying, ooh, why would I put brown in there? Watch this two to three grams of brown, sprinkled on the top, yeah? Everybody with me? Okay, then we take our brush and we start to mix this. And what happens to the pink is it turns an antique color. Eventually, get that moving in there. Just spread all that around. Yeah, now we see it. And if you can see that, we have to make sure that's all mixed very cleverly. There you go. Now can you see that almost antique pink that you used to see on the old-fashioned postcards, maybe sometimes when they were hand-tinted. So what we're going to do now is take this more copper-based rose gold and we're going to put a little accent of pink on. So as I take my sections, this was the original formula here. This is obviously the, the slightly more finished version, which you're going to see just in a few seconds. So I take the um, section, but what we do is we take the sections vertically, like so, and as I separate the section, what we call a subdivision, let's subdivide, and we take a clean brush, because obviously it gets a little messy when you're mixing, take a small amount of the whipped cream and the direct color, what we call the color cocktail, and we start to apply into the hair. But what you're going to find when you get uh, round to using this fabulous type of uh, formula when we make up the cocktails, such a small amount of product goes a long, long way. So if you've never used this before, I really recommend that you uh, really get to have some fun with it. You can be immensely creative. There are 19 colors in the, in the, in the range with one clear as well. And the clear is for shine or for diluting. So as we work that color all the way to the ends, you can be really quite liberal with the product. One of the key uh, ingredients here now is to comb that color through. Make sure you comb that color cocktail and then twist it 
and just let the hair sit on its own like so. Okay. Then we take the next section and it's a repeat action. You can see this is very, very efficient. You can actually have this as an add-on service in your salon. So again, remember we've used pink, about 10 grams of pink with two to three grams of brown, which gives you this antique color, which is absolutely fabulous. And we're using this on an already rose colored base, but you can imagine if you're using this on a client with very blonde hair, they would get almost like that kind of um, little soft rose blush color. Uh, we, we love that term, the blush. So we're pulling that through again. Remember, it's very important to comb the hair, twist it, and leave that down gently. We get to the last section. Do you see this, this whole side panel I've managed to do in three subsections? Apply that through there neatly, working towards the hairline. Remember to come in behind also. If you have surplus color on your brush, work that through the middle ends and the ends and then work back towards the hairline. Now the processing time here can be anything from 10 minutes uh, right up to as, really as long as you like because this is a, a non-oxidative color. So it will only get to a certain point, but really the longer you can leave it, the more the deposit will be there. Okay, so as we apply through one more time, comb it through. Do you see how efficient that is to do? You can do a whole head very quickly. So that's a milkshake direct color cocktail. And you can see even with the amount of color that I used, how much color I have left. It's crazy. Such a tiny amount goes such a long way. So that was the application with the antique um, rose color, antique pink. So I'm gonna take my gloves off and do you wanna see what it really looks like. Okay, I hear somebody saying yes. Okay, so let's do this. Let's take this little band out and we'll take that hair out. Put a little wave in there so it's very soft and pretty. But you can see how you get that really shiny, beautiful pink. If I bring that up to the light, you can see almost that, kind of almost a metallic kind of shimmer on the hair. Really beautiful, really, really soft. And then when that, when that color cocktail fades out after two or three washes, you're back to that copper-based rose gold. So you're getting two effects. So again, you could have this effect for a party, a wedding, a weekend. Uh, fabulous. So again, thank you to Modern Salon and from Brian Grieve. You can follow me on Instagram, brian29grieve, G-R-I-E-V-E. -E, uh, and also check us out on z1conceptusa.com for all the information regarding the products. And there is our rose gold. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you.